feels amazing up here. It's probably breezy, so I have to speak loud, but that run sucked, man. Dehydrated, got one cup of water. It was like a little quart. I don't know what the fuck this is, 10 ounces. But, um, <sighs> yeah, that run fucking sucked. I wanted to say this, man. It's pretty sad, you know, to see in a grown individual, even if it's somebody you look up to or someone that's important in your life, like a parent, a sibling, a friend. You know, you can tell the way they are today, you know, solitary, no friends sleeping late you know you know even they might be someone who they hate the type of person they hate they might be they might have become you know someone who they looked up to who beat them down you know there's a reason why people have no friends or rather be alone or it's, and it might be a reason why they say i hate people or they're mean or like they're an asshole and they kind of built this persona that makes people not really like them or be around them. Maybe that's their defense mechanism. Maybe they stays inside themselves that they're hiding and running from and wishing that they weren't and wishing they could change, you know? So just watch what the fuck you do, man. It's, it's, it's pretty much causality, cause and effect. People who are fucked up don't feel good about themselves beat their own children down, beat their spouse down, beat people around them down. You know, beat society down, man. And you see the outcome, you know. Bad parenting just creates another bad parent or another hurt individual, mean person who hurts other people. And it's just really sad, man. If you just you can notice, it's really sad when you see an adult. It's like when you go to the zoo and you see a sad animal, you know, a sad grown animal. Your kid's like, "Where's the lion at?" And you're like, "Oh, they're under that rock. You see them sleeping under that rock?" Because they're fucking sad and depressed and not supposed to be in the habitation, you know supposed to be out in the wild even though there's sad instances in the wild we don't get we animals kill other animals or you know you become prey to the predator I mean, but you're still giving that being that living thing that living that living being you know that, that living species you're still giving it the option to survive and live and make decisions for themselves you know and um it's just sad when you see it, man. So watch how the fuck you treat other people. Watch how you treat your fucking kids and your spouse and just fucking, you know, but the people who probably hear this probably don't even need to hear it, you know? You guys might be the victims of some mistreatment or maltreatment, you know? You know, the, the ones that are lost in the sauce, the ones on the drugs and beat their kids and torture their kids and put them down. And a lot of times that rage and anger, you black out when you get to that level. You're on drugs, you're not even conscious of what the fuck's going on, you're not even in reality, you know. You can care less about your own fucking kids, let alone yourself, you know. So, yeah, it's just sad when you see it. Yeah, so the mine and James channel is fucked. I'll be posting this on Super Incorporated. I'll probably change that name back to like the mind of James. Once this channel gets disabled, I'll probably get my name back and just have to grow it again it's pretty funny and ironic how like my channel is gonna get disabled i got the notice like two days ago they said oh we're giving you seven days to try to figure it out and so i think i'm like have like about five more days left i emailed the, the, the specific guy i went on the website at this to like an audio visual um like publisher i guess and they actually offer audio books so they do what I do, but they're kind of legit, I guess. Uh, I kind of do it better because I went on their YouTube and none of their shit is even really there. They kind of just give little snippets. And the last video they ever posted was like four years ago. So they're not even active. So I kind of want to say fuck them, you know? They're lames. But, uh, I don't know. A lot of these classic books, I never get copyrighted for these classic books, you know? It's just this one particular, you 
you know, five love languages of children. These people just wanted to squash me like a bug. It's like, they're not even making a stint in the game. So it was like, why do you have to be like that? You know, and lately I've been on this, like, I'm not about mystics, you know, about the spirits. Pray to the spirits, you know, or pray to God, you know, God help me get my channel back. I just, I don't even feel clean enough to even ask God for anything. Plus, I've been on this, like, it's, it's about hard work and effort and about skill and about, you know, putting in the time and effort to become good at something. You're not just going to be good out of nowhere, you know. Yeah, there is that youthful genius, but it's, it's not for everybody, but, um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really thinking about it. I'm just continuing to do what I do, you know, continue to do what I do and I mean have self belief in myself that one day, you know and I mean it took me like two hard years of like consistent effort to get these followers, but it's okay. I mean I'll continue to be telling people to come to my new channel. It just, like go back going back to the irony, I just went over a thousand subs yesterday. <laughs> so it's kind of more fucked up in a sense but uh, it's okay it's okay I'm thirsty and i'm hungry and uh, i gotta do my push-ups just over that ridge yonder slurpy heaven I'm almost there. Nah, 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 nah. My mouth is fucking dry. We're almost there, Slurpee. We're almost there. So it's Saturday morning. My daughter came over yesterday. I've worked from 7 in the morning, a whole 8 hour shift, so. Probably won't make it back to my daughter around until 4.35. So she's gonna be with her grandparents all day. Part of me doesn't trust them. No, part of me just doesn't. I get irritated by them, but um, she should be okay. If not, she'll let me know. But um, kind of wish I lived in a poor country where I could spend all my time with my kid as opposed to living in this expensive ass society. We gotta leave our kid all fucking day with one teacher. If not one teacher, fucking a few of them. Uh, anyway, I catch my Uber. Anyway, when my daughter gets to go out, at least, I know my folks like to go to the swap meet on the weekend and have breakfast. I left my daughter a little bowl of chocolate oatmeal. She's asleep right now. Let her get all the rest she can. I know she wakes up early. My Uber's about to come right now. I think it's pulling up. But my daughter told me yesterday that her mom's car messed up, so they're taking the bus. She told me she's been arguing with her boyfriend. And I'm not gonna talk smack about her, you know, it just has to do with having fucked up parents and not implementing confidence and not having folks who hold a higher standard for you, you know, to model after. A lot of times we're lost in the sauce and we think we have to be, be getting in these insecure arguments, you know, because it's all we know. I'm saying it as a whole fucking society issue. And they grow up with these shitty parents with gangster background, dysfunctional. You know, they didn't have no good father in their life. So it just makes me sad for my daughter. But about, you know, my daughter's mom having to take the bus and not having a fucking car. That means my daughter's on the bus. I'm not going to be like, oh, it's such a sad thing, you know, because, you know, as long as she's not getting physically harmed or neglected or starved or maltreated it's just a bus you know but if i was more of a boss more of a fucking a better man a stronger man i guess or if i had more of an appetite for money i feel bad in that sense like i wish i could provide her a fucking better stuff for my daughter you know 
But, um, I don't know. And I wish her mom could see that, I don't know, fucking feel like she deserves more and, you know, have a higher self-esteem, hold a higher standard for herself. But, I don't know. It's common sense, just like me, when I meet a girl and I'm like, oh, man. I mean, I'm not afraid to tell that I'm I have a. I'm not afraid to say I have a kid with some women. That's a something to make them want to go choose another man. And as a single mother, you know, I could see where maybe you would feel stuck. But my Uber's coming, so hope to get out of work soon so I can be with my kid. I haven't been at my job in three days. I was off three days in a row. Listen more, speak less. Just got a coffee. I'm always anxious, so just gotta try to hide it, right?